Greetings everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while, and that is to basically do a recommended build video for computer components and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I wanted to do kind of a broad enough video of not only a computer that is affordable, um, so I'm gonna be doing a sub, about sub $600 um, computer, I'm going to do a, um, a recommendation for a $800 plus dollar, uh, computer. And then I'm also going to do a list of the like other components that you'll need. So you can see kind of the prices, um, for stuff that I would recommend. Um, and then I'm even going to go over, um, the different drawing tablets that I've used over the years, because I want this to be kind of a, um, an all rounded kind of thing where it's like, okay, I do so many different things. You probably do as well. So why not do a video about those various things. <clears throat> so I have it set up here. So if I go over to, boop, to the slide, um, I'm using uh, OBS to record. So that's why my camera is not as uh, crisp looking. Um, there's something wrong with this camera. It's always a little like flary and has like noise and artifacts. Um, at least when I'm recording at 4K, it's not as noticeable, but at 1080, it's very noticeable. But anyway, Here's kind of my build system that I got so far. So um, I tried to record this once before and failed because I tried to build this lot. I tried to like record me putting this together live and it failed so bad. But anyway, so right off the bat, we're going to start with the sub $600. You can see here the final price is $584.75, give or take. So the first thing we're starting out is the new Ryzen 3 3200G. Um, there's, I, didn't I tried looking to see if there was a 3200 and I didn't see one, but let me just make sure there isn't a uh, 3200. I might be wrong because um, there is like the 3200G. But um, anyway, the reason why I'm going with the Ryzen 3 2200. Uh, yeah, so there is no 3200, which is quite odd. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm going with this is it's a nice affordable um current gen CPU. Um, you can get it on Amazon for about $87. It comes with its own cooling, so you don't need to buy separate cooling. Um, it's really good for that kind of entry level, um, you know, entry level computer kind of getting into it. It's more than powerful enough to do most of what you're going to need to do for the beginning. It's got decent gaming performance and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> You can you can look up reviews for this stuff from people like Jay's Two Cents, Paul's Hardware, um, Linus Tech Tips, like all those um, videos. They're way more qualified to give you input on that. But from everything I've been able to research and getting input from uh, real users who have been using these cards or these uh, chipsets, they're really good. Um, <clears throat> so the 3200, that's going to be that. Um, for the motherboard, um, let's see, I went with this one for 70 bucks. Um, this is just a gigabyte. Uh, it's a B450M uh, micro ATX. This is a micro ATX build, by the way. It's $70 on Amazon. Um, right, yeah, Amazon. And I know that with some of these things, the X, I think it's what, the X450s and the B450s, some of these things are... Still questionable as they're supposed the, the cards are supposed to be backwards compatible. The problem is whether you need a BIOS update. Now, I'm hoping that if you get these brand new from the factory, they should already have the latest BIOS. Um, so that's definitely something you would need to check and to make sure because if it doesn't have the latest BIOS and you buy this, you might need to also buy another card. So you might um, instead of buying this Ryzen 3 you might need to buy the um, a Ryzen uh, like 2200 or yeah, 2200, the 2600, something like that, uh, because then you can actually do a BIOS update. But at that point, it's like, it's really difficult. So unless you know someone who has already a Ryzen, um, uh, a, Zen, a Zen 1 uh, chipset, it might be a little different. I'm hoping that if you get it from the factory brand new, it should already be updated. These these cards have been out long, or these chips have been out long enough um, that they should be able to do that. Um, but anyway, it's a really good, it's a really stripped down. There's really nothing special about it. Um, it's not the most appealing looking, 
but I have used it. I used it in a um, streaming build. It works just fine. It's got um, the PCIe lanes that you need. It's got uh, four um, slots for RAM, which is very important. Um, it's pretty much got everything you really need. And then obviously the IO, if we can get to the, there we go. It's got two USB uh, 2.0, which isn't great, but it does have it. But then it also has four USB uh, 3.0. And then I think, yeah, and then it has like, I think it's like four and four. Um, obviously the specs can kind of talk for that. I could just look over here instead of being a dumb and like trying to guess on what this thing has. Um, but it also has an M.2 slot, which is really nice. I really wanted the M.2 slot because um, being able to use M.2 is really nice, um, which I'll get to that in a minute. For RAM, I went with the RAM that I use, which is the uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX. Uh, this is a 16 gig kit. It's uh, two 8 gig cards. Um, so I did it this way so that you have room for expansion later. It's dual channel, which is what you want uh, for gaming. And it's DDR4 3200 memory, so that's wonderful. Um, and the motherboard, I believe, should support that. <laughs> Let me double check. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, ignore me. Uh, but it's 80 bucks for 16 gigs. 16 gigs is more than enough for what you'll need for a while. It'll take a while before you have a need to upgrade. For storage, let's start with the M.2. For your boot drive, we have an M.2 drive, which is an SSD drive, so it'll be a little bit faster when loading Windows and stuff like that. Um, it's 250 gigabytes, so you really can't put a lot on it, but you can put your uh, OS on it, and then you can put some of your very, like, uh, load-intensive either games or programs where it's like, okay, it needs, you know, you click on it, you're waiting for it to load, you want it to load a little quicker, stuff like that. You can use that. Uh, you can get it for, you know, 50 bucks on uh, Amazon, which is a really good deal. And then for your mass storage drive, we went with a uh, Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte hard drive, which is uh, the one I use, 7200 RPM. This is actually what I use in my current computer. 80 bucks on pretty much everything. Obviously, well, Amazon's not the um, cheapest here, but you can go with Newegg or whoever you want to go with. It's all free shipping, thankfully, so yay. Um, but yeah. Something for good mass storage. Um, a hard drive's just fine. Okay. Next important feature is your graphics card. Now, at this price range, um, kind of going with the uh, RX 570. Um, it's an 8 gig, uh, eight gigs of RAM card. Uh, as you can see here, you can get it for not too much money. It's $139.99. It should do you just fine for a while. Although, uh, keep an eye out for anything new coming out from, uh, like, AMD. Like, some of their, um, they're supposed to be coming out with some new cards that should probably end up replacing a lot of these. Um, so, keep your eye out, um, keep your, keep your eye open for that. Um, but it's got pretty decent specs. Like, it's got good core clocks and stuff like that. And you can easily, uh, overclock it a little bit if you need to get a little bit more out of it. But it does the job. It works well. I've used it. It's not a problem. Like, I really enjoy it. Um, but anyway, where we really cheap out on, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, is the case. I have used this case. I think it's fine. It is the Rosewill Ranger M Micro ATX Mini Tower. Um, it's not a bad looking thing. It's got RGB fans and it comes with fans, which is really nice. So it already comes with fans built in. Um, it's got a little side panel over here for airflow. But yeah, it comes with a fan here and a fan here, uh, a nice big one in the front. But yeah, it glows. It glows blue, so you can get a little bit of RB RGB flare. Um, you got your little storage areas and stuff like that. It easily fits all the components. I know I used it, but more importantly, it's twenty. It's like twenty six bucks. Like it's cheap. Um, and then for a power supply, we're going back to Rosewill. A Rosewill five hundred and fifty watt. 80 plus bronze, that is very important. Uh, do not go any lower than 80 plus bronze. If it's anything lower than that, ignore it. It's not worth it. Um, so at least this. But 550 watts should be more than enough for even upgrade paths down the line. And also $45. So that's pretty much the sub $600 build. And as you can see again, if you well under that, um, where you, so you get to save a little bit of money on that. So that's like the computer side of things. Um, but if you have a little more money to spend, that's not already tied up for the, you know, 
other things that you need, like uh, peripherals and stuff like that. Here's a $880, almost $900 build. We jump up to the Ryzen 5 3600, um, which is a really good card. Don't go for like the X's because they just have like a bit of a, a, a core, like a, a boost to them. But you can easily overclock these things to beyond that very easily. Like they, they seem to tap out in their overclocking at around the same spot. So it's really not worth spending the extra money. $194. That's really not bad at all. <laughs> And it's keeping you on the new gen right now. So you'll, you'll stay with the new products. But yeah, it works really nicely. Um, yeah, just good card, good thing to go. You'll notice I'm a bit of an AMD guy. Sorry. I like AMD. They're more affordable. They're more user-friendly to me. Like, cause, and especially right now with their new cards, they are killing it. Um, upgraded the motherboard to the Asus ROG Strix B450. Um, it's a really nice card. It's very pretty too. Um, but it's got everything you need. It's got the four slots here. It's got your all your PCI stuff. As M.2, all the things you need. Um, the I.O. is actually pretty nice. Let's go to that. You've got your USB normals, your USB ones, or sorry, USB type two. You got um one, two, three USB type threes, and you have two type threes that are fast charging. Um, that's why they have the red, so they give you a little bit more power. You even got a type C in the back, which is really nice. Um, and then of course you have your HDMI and display port, but nobody cares about that. You also got a SPDIF out, which is really nice if you are into audio stuff. It allows you to connect um, channel interfaces and stuff and just, and send things out to them, which is really nice. A lot of inputs too, but it's really nice. It's $120. That's not a bad price at all. And it looks really nice. Um, Obviously, the same. I'm keeping the Vengeance, uh, the Corsair Vengeance LPX, um, 16 gigabyte, uh, st two two by eight sticks. God, my brain shuts off at the end of the day. I'm recording this kind of late, so my brain's not all there, <laughs> as if it was ever there to begin with. So yeah, this is still fine. <laughs> if you want to go a little higher, you can get two sets of these. But honestly, I would just say for 80 bucks, 16 gigs are still going to do perfectly fine for a long time and then for the storage i'm just keeping the seagate barracuda to three terabyte you can up that to a four terabyte it's not that much more um but the thing we definitely upped is the um m uh the m.2 drive ssd is now 500 gigabytes so you have a little bit more room to put some stuff on that um which kind of makes up you can put more games and stuff on it and then graphics card yeah, i didn't go amd this time I went with the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super. It's a good card. Like, the 1660 Super is honestly better than getting, like, a 1660 or 1660 Ti because the RAM is upgraded. That's the difference between the Super model and then the other two, is it has GDDR6. It has a different RAM. So in most of the time, like, in all the, like, different benchmarks I've seen, it's outperformed either of the other two tiers that go around it. So it's really hard not to recommend it. It's a good thing. The only step up from here that you would get a lot from is if you wanted to go AMD, you could get the 5,700. Um, but that is jumping your, that's pushing your price up just a little bit more. So if you don't mind spending a little extra money, the 5,700 is a really good card to go with. Um, especially it's, it's a good bang for the buck kind of thing. But if not, if you're more of an NVIDIA person, can't go wrong with the 1660 Super. Um, it's doing just fine. And then, of course, the same Roswell um, five, uh, 550 watts, 80 plus bronze. And again, you could bump that up a little bit more if you want. Any of these parts can be interchanged with more things depending on how your budget. But I wanted to keep, um, keep this under 1,000. I kept it under 900. But you have a little bit of wiggle room here if you really want to kind of push the boundaries a little bit more. Now we go into some of the other components here, which the total for a lot of these is $374. And so here's your options. First, if you want a genuine copy of Microsoft Windows, you can get $99.95, or you can go on CD Key or Kingwin and get it for like 20 bucks. I'll let you decide which. But officially here on my channel, I have said what I need to say, which is you can buy the legal, you can buy the regular copy. Instead of the bulk bought versions. 
I don't mind those. Anyway, for a monitor, um, I have a couple options here, but um, for the cheaper, like nine, you know, ninety nine dollar, uh, you know, hundred dollar one, it's a, a, a scepter. I think that's how you say it, scepter. Uh, but anyway, it's a 1080p monitor. It's 75 hertz monitor, so you get a little bit more, um, get a little bit more uh, rate, uh, frame rate on it, which is nice. It's above 60. That's always good, uh, especially for gaming. <clears throat> and it's 23 inches. It's 23.8, so it's about 24 inches uh, monitor. Really good. It, it's like it looks really nice. It does the job. It does what you need. It doesn't have the most big flare. Um, it doesn't have a, like a lot of adjustability, as you can see here. But it's got a vase mount, so you can adjust things, and it's got all your stuff in the back. It even supports VGA. If you want to do a couple upgrades, say to uh, 1440, or uh, not 1440, I'm dumb, 1080p at 144 hertz. Let me make sure I say that correctly. I didn't mean to click on you. <laughs> I'm dumb. Let's click on that. I want to open you up in the new part. Here, we got another one from Scepter. This is a really nice one, by the way. And it's slightly curved. Um, it's a little bit more money, 150, but it gives you um, the full 24 inch size. You get the 1080p, but you get that 144 hertz, which is really nice. Um, the response time isn't too bad, it's three milliseconds. Um, but then after that, we have the Acer. So if you want to spend just a little bit more money, but you can get like, and that's, and it's not that much money. It's just because of the uh, shipping and handling. Um, but yeah, spend a little bit more, more money. You get a TN panel but you get that one millisecond uh, response time, which is so good. Um, but yeah, those are some options for that. For mice and keyboard, for dirt cheap, you can go with Amazon Basics. Uh, this one gives you um, a mouse as well. Um, my brain keeps shutting off every now and then. Uh, you can go a step up, get the course. You can go steps up by getting like the Corsair um, A55. Uh, $50. Obviously, it doesn't come with a keyboard, so you'd have to get a keyboard separate. But Corsair is a good brand. A uh, bunch of logic text, so you have like your um, your wired slim, which isn't too bad. It's super basic. Um, it'll get the job done. And then you have the MK235, which is a wireless model. So if you're really into the whole wireless thing, you can pick that up for 20 bucks. Not a bad deal. Uh, these last two options are ones that I really like. I like Red Dragon. Um, we have the 50, uh, the 551 N, which is actually the, uh, model that I'm using. You can see down here. Um, this is the, uh, it's a really good wired mouse. It's got, well, it comes in options actually. So let me actually go to the thing. I think Red Dragon makes some good stuff, good high quality. So you can either get their simple, you know, no backlit for $35. Um, I believe these have what? These have Cherry MX Blues in them. Um, if you go up with the red, it's got the Cherry MX Blues still, but it gives you the red lighting. You have the um, this one, which is, uh, I believe, RGB, black RGB. Yeah, RGB. So you can make it whatever color you want. That's basically what I have with the MX Blues. And then, of course, you have the, like, the rainbow. Unfortunately, you can't change that background, but... Yeah, I did accidentally purchase that at one point. Um, I believe I bought a different one. I think the one I got doesn't have the Cherry MX um, Blues. I have a slightly different model, but it's basically the same thing. Um, let's see. And then I believe, yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah, this might be the one I bought. I wish this thing had a label on it, but it's probably got the label on the back, and I don't feel like looking for it. <laughs> But um, I believe this might be the one I bought. I don't remember. I'm dumb. Uh, but if you want a 10 keyless, you can get this. Comes without the 10 keyless. Anyway. Oh, I'm so good at these videos, aren't I? <laughs> Especially when I have to ramble. All right, we're getting up on 20 minutes, so let's just wrap this up. For headphones, for all you audiophiles, um, you can go with Sennheiser. You can either go for $100 and get the, uh, the 280 uh, HD 280 Pros, I really like them. They have good audio quality, good sound. Um, or you can spend a little bit more and get the uh, 558 Pros, which are, God, I want those. They have the nice soft, uh, they got the soft material for your ears, which is so good. But yeah, you can get that. For speakers, I mean, unless you're getting like monitors, like um, studio monitors, 
you might as well just go like if you want just basic you can go with the two logic text that i have here which is the uh z333 it's just fine or the 623 i just opened that in a new tab whatever it's a little bit more it's about 100 bucks but it's not bad. It's got a frequency response from 35 hertz all the way up to tw uh, to 20 kilohertz. Jeeves. Um, decent look. They would sound, they'll sound great. Um, but if you want to do music and stuff, these this is the cheapest pair you're going to be able to get. Um, they'll pretty much do you just fine. They're the uh, PreSonus Eris E 4.5. They're I haven't had the chance to try these out myself. But they have a 4.5 inch uh, sub. That's that little thing right there, or a woofer. They're a good size. They'll do you just fine. I have Mackie, um, Mackie fives, which are just about as good. But for 200 bucks, if you go on Amazon 219, it's not bad. Like you're gonna get something of good quality. Um, but yeah, that's all that other component stuff. Now the other stuff we're gonna look up at uh, right now is some of the other things that you might need. So if you need to do audio stuff, you need an interface. And of course, I recommend Behringer's products because they come at a good price. Like, look at this, 133 for four channel interface. Uh, you can get uh, two channel interfaces for a pretty good price. Uh, Focusrite is pretty good as well. Not sure why that's showing up considering I clicked on Behringer, but cool. Uh, you can get the 204 HD for 118, really good. You can get um, cool little kits like this where Behringer's like, we'll give you a bunch of things for money. Um, this is actually a good deal. Getting this, you get the Audio Technica mic, fifth one. You get a one channel um, interface from them, which is actually really, which is actually not that bad. Um, the UM2 two by two, which is pretty good. Um, you can get some of the four ones again. Uh, do not get mixers. Mixers are not audio interfaces. <laughs> they only output in single channel. But you can easily see that you can spend not a lot of money. Like you can easily save a good amount of money on what you need. And even the Focusrite stuff, it's a little more expensive, but it comes with some good products with it. Uh, PreSonus is really good. And I believe some of them come with Studio One, depending on what you're playing with. Uh, that's the audio interface. Or not the audio interface, the uh, doll. I'm dumb. But super easy to get, super affordable kind of stuff. You don't need to bust the bank. Now, for drawing stuff, the first thing I will definitely recommend is the, if you want a display tablet, that's a good price. Um, you can either go with the uh, any of these models pretty much, any of the pro models, if desk space is a problem. So if you're really on a budget for 250, you can get the 11 inch model. Um, if you got a little bit more money, you can get a 13 inch model. Um, and if you got a little bit more, you can get the 15 inch model, which is what I have for, uh, 400 bucks, which is a really good price. XP pen makes really good products. So I I've been using one of them for a while. Also, my phone just went off, which is lovely. Thank you. Uh, another thing you can definitely use is the, uh, let's see. here's the Vike tablets. I highly recommend these. These are really good. This is their newest one, actually, which is the 1560 Pro, which I will be reviewing. Um, I'm just having a little bit of a technical difficulties. Uh, I tried it on my laptop. My laptop is like super old, so I just think it's just not liking it. But if you want to spend a little bit more, more money, you can get the 1560 Pro. It's really good. It's got a dial wheel, which is really nice. And it's all this other stuff. There will be a review coming. If you want to save a little bit, a uh, little bit of money, you can get the just the 15. It's perfectly fine. It's really good. It gives you the uh, extra levels of pressure sensitivity and it's $300. So that's always fine. Um, if you just want a regular tablet, go with any of their graphics tablets. I've done reviews of them. You can look at my reviews. They're all good. Um, but, um, but you can also get the, uh, if you want the bigger tablets, you can get the, let's see if the, ooh, do they still have the 2150 out? Oh, they don't have it anymore. Ah, they're uh, they're upgrading their um their supplies right now. They do have a bigger tablet coming, but I believe XP like a type also has some bigger models if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I know they have bigger models. There we go. The Artist 22E, which is a really good one. I wouldn't mind trying that one day. So, uh XP Pen if you're out there, I'd love to try it. But you can't go wrong with any of these products, really. Um 
that's pretty much my recommendations for now. Obviously, there'll be links in the descriptions to all my recommendations and stuff like that, um, including the PC part picker lists. Um, so recommendations from here. Stick around um, throughout the month and throughout the end of this year because I do have some more reviews coming of some different products, including some stuff from Coolertron. We've got two XP pen, uh, or no, not two. Uh, we got, let me use my brain. We have the 13. <laughs> my brain's not working. I have the 1560 from them. Um, I should be getting, once they uh, fix their stocks, I should be getting the 2200 or um, the larger tablet to try out. I have one of their other tablets, which is the A15. I just had to look back there. I have the A15 to check out. Um, and then I have uh, something else from another company. Oh, no, sorry. The A15 is from Vike. Um, from XP Pen, I believe the other thing I have is a. Ta I I have like so many different things that I'm trying to like juggle in my brain. I have a bunch of things. Oh my god, I'm gonna go and uh, rest my brain. I hope you didn't mind this video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Check the description for links to all that kind of stuff. Um, everything that I do, social media, my Twitch, um, Patreon, all that crap. Obviously, links to anything I've talked about in the video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.